Welcome to the science of bots. What do smart bots mean to me? Bots are useful, but they may soon take my job. One task, bots are here now. Bots change the world and the way I live. Bots challenge what being human means. Let's see more about machines. From muscles to minds in seven steps. One, muscles. At first, people invent machines to replace human muscle. Like these simple machines. Machines with power make work easier for people. Also, machine tools help people make things. Next, machines get motions. Two, moves. People make machines that move. Levers, gears, and cams replace human muscle controls. Some of these machines are useful, like clocks. Other machines move just to entertain humans. Like a pretty piano player. Or swimming silver swan. This machine plays chess, but it is sneaky. It probably has a person inside it to make it work. Still, it impresses this guy to make the first machine computers. Also, it impresses this guy to invent powered machines to make clock. In the 1950s, this computer does more calculations in a few years than all humans have ever done in our history. Up to then, the data is mostly used by military. Before bots have a human face, we need better digital brains. 3. Microprocessors These chips of silicon with micro networks of switches are called computer brains. Patterns of digital data are light speed processed in networks of micro info highways. But they are merely the hardware. They are impressive silicon brain cells but still a long way from self-thinking machines. 4. Human memory First, let's look at how we humans think. To start, think how children learn. At first, we humans learn by trials and errors with rewards and specs. Human memory works as networks of neurons. That is, our neurons actually grow or wire thousands of connections to other brain cells. Our neurons fire bits of electricity when we think. Humans have a conscience and are sentient. Next, people take selfies and create lots of digital content. Where does all this data go? 5. Massive Data Centers The digital data we all create is stored in massive data centers. Here are some examples. Our world births with stored digital data. This data is like Lego building blocks for AI. Humans learn by taking in lots of data from our senses with natural sensors. Next, we teach AI to learn like humans do. 6. Machine Learning Humans teach machines to learn the same way we do. Humans write the software code that start AI computers learning quests. Next, bots learn to solve new problems by reinforced trials and errors. Machines surf the deep seas of digital data. AI learns based on human neural network models. For example, they notice data points that become lines, that connect into shapes, that have meaning, that join with words to make decisions. Remember, bots process data billions of times faster than humans. What do bots do today? We have chatbots and bots that self-drive vehicles. AI listens, translates, and talks in new languages. Robots replace humans, like workers in production, warehouses, and even coffee shops. The first shots of AI revolution are fire. Where will all this AI lead for us? Is the future awesome or apocalypse? 7. 
machine minds. To answer this, we focus on a single moment called singularity. It is when machines get minds. AI becomes as smart as humans. They are AI, self-aware with their software minds. Human design the first AIs, but at this point AI creates all the next generations of AIs. How will this impact humanity? Will it be an easy life for us? Or is it the end of days extinction for humanity? To close, first, humans made machines for more muscles. Next, machines move us. Human program machines with microprocessors to help us solve problems. Humans learn how our brains work with neural nets. We make computers and smartphones. We build massive data centers to store our zettabyte of digital data. Next, humans teach machines how to learn too. Today, AI bots drive cars, beat humans at games, and make things. One day soon, AI becomes self-aware, sentient with a mind of its own. Then what? Will AI make our lives easy or be the end of us? The more I know, the better I adapt to AI. Alford Shareware helps. It is the knowledge to adapt and thrive to coming tech changes. Our real intelligent lives, they are AI. AI, a changing. See the catalog for more Alford books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 2 million free Alfred ebooks have been downloaded 